Hey guys, in this video I'm going to present a solution to China National Olympiad 2023 problem 4. We are given A1, A2 up to A2023, non-negative real numbers with sum equal to 100. Now we define A to be the set of indice pairs i, j with i less than or equal to j such that ai times aj is greater than or equal to 1. We are asked to prove that the magnitude of A is at most 5050 and to answer when equality holds. The size condition gives us an immediate way to bound the number of elements of A from above. Namely, we know that the sum over all i, j and A of AI, AJ is greater than or equal to the same sum of i, j and A of 1. But this is by definition nothing but the cardinality of A. And therefore, if we could show that this sum would be less than or equal to 5050, then we would be done. So we want to bound this sum of AIAJ from above, but we can clearly relate it to the square of the sum of the AI, which we already know to be 100 squared. So we will do this in the following way. We consider two times the sum of i, j in A of ai, aj. This is almost less than or equal to the sum of i going from 1 to 2023 of ai squared. But we have to be careful here because we overcount the ai squared on the diagonal of A. And so we also have to add the sum of i in D of ai squared, where we define D to be the set of i such that i comma i lies in a. The right side here is just 100 squared plus the sum of i and d of a i squared. If we recall that it is enough to show that this sum is at most 5050, then it would also be enough if we could prove that the sum of i and d of a i squared is at most 100. Sadly, this is not the case. Consider, for example, the instance with a1 equal to 100, and then this is just 10,000 much larger than 100. This motivates us to improve our first bound here. In particular, we make it sharp on the diagonal by subtracting the sum of i and d of 1, and then adding the sum of i and d a i squared again. We recognize that we now have this same problematic sum on the other side of our inequality, which is good for us. And moreover, this sum of i and d of 1 is again equal to the magnitude of d. Rearranging our first inequality yields that the cardinality of a is less than or equal to the cardinality of d minus sum of i and d a i squared plus this sum, which we now know to be less than or equal to this divided by 2. So we get 5000 plus 1 half sum i and d of a i squared. Combining terms yields cardinality of d minus a half times the sum of i and d a i squared plus 5000. Since these a i squared are greater than or equal to 1 and we have a negative front, this is less than or equal to the cardinality of d minus a half times the sum of i and d of 1 plus 5000. And as before, this is equal to a half times cardinality of d plus 5000. It is left to show that the cardinality of d is less than or equal to 100. Taking a look at the definition of d, we note that i and d tells us that a i squared is greater than or equal to 1. And from this, we can conclude that a i must be greater than or equal to 1. Since the sum of all of our a i is equal to 100, this gives us cardinality of d less than or equal to 100, which is what we wanted, since we now obtain that all of this is less than or equal to 5050. Let's finish by finding the cases where the cardinality of a is equal to 5050. So let us assume that we have equality. Hence, we must have equality in every step here. In particular, this implies that the cardinality of d is equal to 100. 
Since AI is greater than or equal to 1 for I and D, this implies that 100 of the AI are greater than or equal to 1. And since the sum A1 plus A2 plus up to A2023 equals 100, this implies that these 100 AI are exactly equal to 1 and all others equal 0. So we have that AI is either equal to 1 or 0. And in order to decide this, we just take some index subset of 1 up to 2023 of size 100 and then say that ai is equal to 1 for i and i and 0 otherwise. Lastly, we need to make sure that this construction indeed gives us equality, but in this case a is just a set of i, j both in i such that i is less than or equal to j and of course this set a has size equal to 5050. So all of these constructions work and therefore we are done.